Well, guys, a little over two years ago, my family purchased this 80 acres, this 80 acre Mill Creek property that we call it. And uh, after today, it's never going to be the same here. It's not going to be the same. Um, you know, guys, we've got so much going on, so many different things, so many projects. In fact, I found this one. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead and Houston's on the mushroom honey hole. careful you want me to step on them huh definitely don't do that look see if you can find all of them first well i see one right there one right there i see one over there that's by earl that fell over that's three hmm where's four? Oh, i see one way over there oh you do where uh-huh oh, I, I see four there's a giant one over there dude holy moly you're on a honey hole Okay, well, the fourth one is right there. Oh. <laughs> we should have brought a sack. Well, I wasn't planning on finding mushrooms. I didn't think there'd be any left. Look, there's another one right there. Oh, my gosh. Watch where you step right now. Oh. Look at this. This is crazy. Good ones, too, man. Yeah. Five. Six. Oh my god! Holy moly! Look at all of them. There's two more right there, and then there's one right there. Dude, okay. they're everywhere. They're they're everywhere. Literally everywhere. There's one over there. I see two, three, one four. Right one right there. One right there. One right there. One right there. We gotta find a bucket or something, dude. Dude, we need to go back real quick. Well. This was not supposed to be a mushroom hunting video. I have got some very important things I want to talk about to you guys, but uh, the morels have exploded, Houston. Pick that one. That might be the... I know that's the biggest one you've ever seen. Oh, that is so sick. Look, there's two more over there. Oh my gosh. This is like a dream come true. This is literally an Easter egg on. Easter egg. Easter egg. Yeah. One right there. Two right here. You mean three? Oh, 
free? Dude, this is insane. Grab that big one right there. It's huge. How do I get there? Here, I'll get it. Dad. Holy hey. Man. I'm not sure you're supposed to be reaching across the fence line there. Oh. <laughs> Are you hunting our mushrooms or somebody else's? Uh, I don't know. Be quiet. <laughs> hey, I got one that's right under the fence. Look at there. What'd you see? There's another mushroom right there. A big one. Oh, goodness. On the other side of the fence. I see mushrooms. Oh, goodness. Mushrooms aren't supposed to go on the, grow on the other side of the fence. That's not good. <laughs> we got a haul right now, though. I got you. Just go through there. Dude, look, there's two right here. They're everywhere. Look, they just keep going. That's I gotta get over this fence. Oh my gosh, what are we supposed to do with all of these? Give them to our friends. Everybody loves mushrooms. Oh my gosh. Dad, look at this. This one died, but that's a big one right there. This is awesome crossing the fence. There's one half acre right there. Throw these through the fence. Some more hurry. Come on, we'll put them in the bucket quick. There Holy we go. Um, Gather them up. How do I get through here? Come on back on this side. I bet there's a whole bunch more over there. Yeah. Well, guess what? We still got some over here. Look. Well, I was uh, trying to do a video intro and was interrupted by a mushroom hunt. No, it's interrupted by me screaming uh, at you. Yeah. <laughs> we have hit the mother load of morel mushrooms tonight or this There's evening. Another one. Yeah, I see it. I can't stop picking them, guys. When they're hot, they're hot, and you just can't leave them. Yeah. We've got a huge bucket full already. Plenty to share with uh, for us and my mother in law. Probably will call Buck, the previous landowner of this Mill Creek property, and let him in on it. But, guys, we didn't come over here for a mushroom hunt. I'm. I'm so this is kind of like bittersweet in a way like i i'll explain more in a minute hope y'all can do this too think anybody will ever know we crossed the fence uh probably not hope not yeah well guys a little over two years ago, my family purchased this 80 acres, this 80 acre Mill Creek property that we call it. And uh, after today, it's never going to be the same here. It's not going to be the same. Um, you know, guys, we've got so much going on, so many different things, so many projects and uh, the warehouse, the merchandise warehouse with that property and all the stuff at home and everything. Um, DJ and I have done a lot of thinking and a lot of talking and... Um, this property is amazing. It's this, this is totally unexpected. Houston and I came over here today to shoot a video to look for a few mushrooms. And well, uh, what's on this mushroom? Is it, I don't look, you can see through it on video. Yeah, but there's like all this little, it's got like, sand all over it. Yeah, like sand on it. So I was not expecting to find all these mushrooms. I was definitely not expecting to find all these mushrooms across the fence. Probably not supposed to do that, right? Um, anyways. You know, we've had this place a little over two years and we've, it's been so much fun getting out. You know, we've built the pond. Uh, we did put in all the trails. We've done all this work on the cabin and look at it. It's really starting to look great. Earl's way across the pasture over there. Look at him. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but I've spent so much time over here. Houston and Jacoby and I have been camping over here in the cabin and, you know, just, it's just, uh, it's like a dream come true. When I signed on this property, you know, a little over two years ago, this was, this is the biggest purchase of my life, but we've got a lot going on right now. And sometimes God opens doors for us. Sometimes God closes doors for us. Sometimes things happen and timing happens that we don't really expect. This sounds very sad. Um, anyways, 
I'll, I'll explain more. I'll, you guys will understand in a few minutes. Have you counted all those yet? Uh, I don't know. Let's count them. See what we got. Count them up. One, two, three. Hang on. Hang on. That was an accident. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. Fifty-six, 56 mushrooms. mushrooms. Give me some knuckles. That and these were all in one patch too. Like they were just right there. We could probably spend two more hours walking these woods over here and find all the mushroom hot spots right now, mm -hmm. you know it? You can get double this right here if we wanted to though. So uh let's go for let's go for one more ride before I explain what we're having to do here. Yeah. One last ride. I'm sure everybody else was here with us. Yeah. those mushrooms. There's another gate. Oh, buckets. Get it. We're going for it. Okay. You better hurry. Come on, gate boy. <laughs> hurry, we gotta go. Huh. Huh. So let me explain. I threw Houston across the fence to get those mushrooms. Technically, uh, some would think that's trespassing, and why would Daniel ever show that? And then we cut the fence and drove through, drove through another gate to an entryway at a county road. What did you do, Dad? Why did you do this? So when I was saying some things are going to be different with the Mill Creek property and uh, some things are changing, we actually just doubled the size of our property. So we were not trespassing. No. We were climbing the fence onto the property that we just bought. Now, bear with me on this, guys. Um, this is an, we, our original Mill Creek property was 80 acres. And a lot of the area around it is owned by a rock quarry. But there's one property owner next to us that's also 80 acres. And a few weeks ago, I don't know, maybe a month ago, uh, the property owner called us out of the blue and said, hey, uh, I've been watching your videos of what you did with Buck's Place and how you're making it look good. Uh, my wife and I are getting a little bit older and we used to live on that 80 acre property. We, we don't live there, we live in town now and it's just too much for us to take care of. We don't have the time and the energy to maintain it. We're not wanting to put it on the market, but we'd like to sell it to you. And uh, it was an opportunity that I just didn't feel like I could pass up. So, and, here, here we are. And so you remember that big, oh, don't worry about those right there. That's that's totally not ours right there, okay? Okay, chill. Okay, and back to what I was saying. The giant eight point buck that we that I was chasing last year I was chasing it over at Mill Creek and you want to know why it stopped coming he shot it <laughs> yeah the, the the previous landowner hunted like three times last year and he got the big buck that Houston and I were looking for and uh well Emily actually was looking for it 
uh, Houston was kind of had secondary hopes. But um, the reason multiple vehicles are here is there's actually a house on this property. And uh, somebody's moving into it. Somebody's it's moving safe. in. So I was not looking to purchase this property. I had no intentions of buying another property. I, we just bought the warehouse, the merchandise property, and we got that project going on. But I feel like this is one of those opportunities that if I passed up in a year, five years, 10 years, I would kick myself in the butt for not buying it when I could. So here we go. When the uh, property owner called us and said, hey, would you be interested in purchasing it? I was like, oh, no. You know, one of those hard, you know, anyways. He said, well, come on out, look at it, go around the property. So DJ and I came over and we sat on his tailgate, just like right here, parked right here, sat on his tailgate, just two men talking and made a deal for what he wanted out of his property. He's owned this place for many decades and has put a lot of hard work into it and a lot of time into it and uh we just made a handshake deal on the tailgate and it worked out right pizza is delivered pizza is delivered i haven't shown them the house yet so you didn't want to move into the house <laughs> no no i think it would be the perfect place for a new guy new guy the new guy yeah hey new guy <laughs> I need somebody to babysit the Mill Creek property for me to make sure we don't have trespasser problems. I'll do that. Hey, <laughs> by the way, look at the driveway. Pine trees. They planted all these pine trees when they bought the property. You can barely see the driveway, but there's the gate. Anyways, the pine trees kind of frame the property. And it is a 1999 single wide like mobile that. home. I like the old school. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool, though. I like it. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a little muggy in here. Ain't she a beaut? Oh. Welcome home. Not you. Not me. <laughs> Not you. Not you. Um, is that a you. That's That's a snake. Snake. <gasps> snake. There's a snake. We got a snake in the house. Turn oh, on the lights. Oh my god. I don't know where the light is. Where's the light? What is that in here? Yeah. <laughs> Wes. That's a copper gate. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, you got a snake in the house. Oh my god! Your non is leaving. It's, oh my gosh! Ah, what? You no longer have a snake in the house. Oh well, god. I got a snake well, under my foot. Here, look. We're in luck. Oh man! Hey! No snakes on the back Wait, porch. You gotta kill it. No, Wes, don't you dare pick that up. Don't, don't pick that up. Don't pick it up. Don't pick, don't it, pick up. it up. It'll bite you. I'll It'll, pick it up no, fast. No. 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 That's a good way to get snake bit. No, no, no. don't do that. If it is a copperhead, well, you're gonna have to uh I need something. You're gonna have to uh get it out the door. Um, I'll just kick it. No! Alright. Get the snake out of your house, bro. Move, dog. Your nana's probably never Earl. coming back in. Oh, Earl! Oh, Alright. One, two, three. Earl. Get out of here, snake! So, uh, here's the back porch. Warm welcome. <laughs> Warm welcome. Hey, you got a fenced-in backyard. Like a, like a really nice fenced-in backyard. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Here, let me, uh... It was, like, already... Here. Oh, yeah, let me see Okay, back to the house. Covered back porch. Nice little, nice little back porch. Uh... One small dead snake in the backyard, and uh, like a five foot tall fenced in backyard uh, needs a needs a little bit of work. Anyways, back. Let's go back inside. What do you think, Earl? Yeah, you. you oh, you done buried him? Yeah, he's he's not getting out. Gross. All right. Let's uh let's go see if there's any more snakes in the house. The back bedroom is uh. Well, that light didn't turn on. Hey, there's hmm. Yeah, well, turn the lights on in there. Back bathroom. That's a good looking guy in the mirror. Uh, there is carpet in the bathroom, which is a little strange, but a shower. 
Oh, bathtub. It's a big nice bathtub. Uh, wallpaper look going on here. Let's see if these lights come on. Oh yeah, these lights work. I don't know why the. Maybe it just needs new bulbs. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. New guy can figure it out. Beep beep. This is a pretty big bedroom. It's got a not really a dresser. Nice walk-in closet. Look at those snakes, Donna. Hmm. I don't know why that didn't come on. No. Yeah. Let's figure that out. Let's see. Kitchen. I mean, they left some some furniture. It's got a little table. They left all the appliances. Oh look, there's a. Is this a laundry room? I've only been in this once, so I don't know where everything's at, but there's a washing machine, a place for a dryer. Do you need a dryer? Yes. Okay. No snakes in there. Snake. Okay, back to the front door. There's a, another bathroom on this end with a tub shower and a second bedroom. They left a dresser, a TV, a bed, a little, uh, some sort of. I don't know what that's for, really. It's really not a dresser or anything, but... Can I show you something? Uh, Wes, less anger. Quit punching the walls. I haven't been here yet. Okay, what were you going to show me? Oh, uh, that's what I was going to show you. Oh, like, you punched the hole in the somebody, wall? Somebody got angry. Another closet? So... I got this. I don't know. What do you think, new guy? I like it. We're going to do some remodeling and get it to where I like it. And... It's a free house, I mean... <laughs> It's not free, trust no, it's me. It's not a free house, but... It's rent-free, but rent it's not a free house. Rent-free. All right. Totally unexpected to find a snake in the house. Did not expect that at all. But the previous owner did say, watch out for rattlesnakes, because there are a ton of rattlesnakes out here. But the, the previous owners, his name was Rob, they, uh, they haven't lived in this trailer house in, I don't, I think maybe 10 years. They had a renter in here for seven years and uh, she had to move and then they tried two or three other renters and had all kinds of problems and they just decided it was time to sell the property so it does have a 1999 single wide trailer house and i'll walk you around and show you the rest of what's going on here uh the pine trees are so cool though look at the old pine trees in the yard and uh they actually planted them framed up the driveway and everything you can tell when they lived here they took tremendous pride in their yard their lawn and you know their property around the house now the 80 acres i'm not going to show you all of the 80 acres today um it's rough country it's not open pasture there's a few open areas there's a few fields but and there's a fence line right there kind of that tree line right there but that just is what he had uh fencing around his yard so let's talk let's walk around and look at everything real quick so the trailer house, a carport, and then a little shed behind. I don't have a key to that shed yet. He's still got some stuff in there. And then this was, or is, a well house. The property has, I think he said like 100 and, 130 or 160 foot deep well. He's still got a few things in here he's gonna come back and get. I'm not even sure if there's a light. Yeah, there's a light. Um, so it's got a Really nice well. He's got, you know, heat lamps and stuff set up in here. A Culligan water softener. So all the water that goes to the house, go, house goes through the water softener. And uh, it's actually a really nice little well house. Real, really well insulated. And I think the well was drilled in maybe 2012, I believe. But uh, he said it's a great well. And then he had a little uh, fire pit area out here. He was burning a bunch of brush and stuff the day we came over here and looked at it and everything. So a little fire pit. Look at these giant rocks. They kind of frame in the yard. I haven't even looked in this shed. I think it's just storage, but. Yep, just a little storage shed. Hey, there's a deer feeder. Can never have too many deer feeders. So it, I'm not going to say the house is up on a hill, but it's kind of on a rock ledge and overlooks some of the property. It's really, it doesn't have the greatest views from the house by any means, but, uh, you know, it's pretty neat. And most, well, all of the property is, you know, from the house back. This is the road access out there. So 
the trailer house sits at the very front of the property. That's turned off somewhere. We'll have to figure out where to turn that on. I'll probably have to call Rob. I'm sure he's got cutoff valves. But there's two or three of those frost-free hydrants scattered around the yard. And there's a uh, little dog kennel. It's actually got a roof on it. And the storage building back here, like I said, I don't have a key to yet. But I, if I remember right, it's open in the back. Oh, nope, I was wrong. This is what I remembered opening in the back, I guess. So the, the yard was huge. I think he fenced in way too much area for the yard because the fence runs just right at that tree line right there. Um, he used to have a few cows on this property, but he told me it's just almost all timber and brush and uh, pretty rough, rocky terrain. So there's not really a lot of grass. It's like he left a few treasures back here. I, I think he said he was going to come get this stuff but i'm not sure if he's going to or not i wish the entire property was fenced off this well it's a really nice fence around it like this but uh unfortunately it's not and most of it looks just like this which is really what i'm interested in for the uh the hunting side of it so i i was 100 on board purchasing it and actually dj surprised me she was like yes let's get it and uh, it takes our 80 up to 160 which really when you're talking about managing wildlife and and hunting and stuff that's uh well that's like double 80 acres you know double um but it's 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 awesome it's so cool that that the owner saw what we were doing with the property next door and said listen i don't have the means to make it what I want it and uh, I think you do and he said he knows you know he's watched our videos and stuff and he's excited to see what we do to his property and uh, I just think that's so cool that's so awesome not something I really intended on purchasing this is not a property that I even thought was a possibility for us to buy and he just calls us up out of the blue one day and says hey do you want to buy it Look at there. Nice little pool ladder to get over the fence. Ooh, she's kind of wobbly. <laughs> Earl's got something tree back here. Well, probably has something in a hole, if I had to guess. Um, as you can see, um, this property is covered in eastern red cedar. And that's going to have to be taken care of. The hated cedar tree. There's a bunch on this place. And I'll take you guys around. We'll give you a, a tour of the whole property because I honestly haven't even seen all of it yet. And a lot of it looks like this with big rocks and stuff. So um, I've toured about 75% of it on a side-by-side. -side. Houston and I snuck across the fence earlier and we're trespassing on our own property. What do you got, Earl? To find those mushrooms and... and uh, Earl's got something treated. You got armadillo in the hole, Earl? Where's Gemma at when you need her, huh? Oh! Don't get behind him. What is it, Earl? What do you got? You think you're a hunting dog? What's down there, Earl? So like I said earlier in the video, sometimes the, uh, the Lord um, opens doors for you and closes doors for you. Fortunately, this is not a closed door time for us. This is an, an open door, an open opportunity that um, I just didn't feel like it was going to be one that I could pass up and not live to regret it. You know, um, they were going to sell it to somebody and it just meant a lot to be able to sit on the tailgate and make a deal just man to man and say, here, here's what we want to do. And he laid it all out, what he wanted for the property, what he expected and uh, why he wanted us to purchase it and uh that means a lot it just i don't know it, it just means a lot as a man for someone to do that and uh he probably could have sold it for more put it on real estate market probably sold it for quite a bit more but uh sometimes that's not 
what's most important to some people. Oh, also there is a uh, storm shelter on the property, so I haven't even opened this one up. Oh. Look at there, a couple chairs, a little lamp. Maybe some scorpions. Probably some scorpions, yep. Oh, Guess what? That's such the new guy's problem though. Oh yeah, that is. <laughs> I didn't either till just now. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> He's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. He is. A uh, long way from town. Yeah. But he's excited about it. He is. Yeah. Really, Earl. Yeah, <laughs> Well, welcome home. Almost. <laughs> I mean, All this stuff's not here you could stay the night. There's a bed. There's a bed. Maybe a snake or two, but yeah. there's a bed. You just can't keep my dog. I mean, mom's dog. Right. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little dirty. <laughs> y'all can, can have him tonight. I mean, he, he might have jumped in a few ponds. It's okay. Go give him a bed. It's okay. It's okay. Bring him back. It's okay. <laughs>